Welcome back to KSNT News at 5. I'm KSNT Storm Track Meteorologist Christina Reese, and we are tracking some more rain throughout Northeast Kansas, but we can already start to see some of those showers lingering in as we look outside of Manhattan. It's kind of a dreary end to your Sunday as clouds are starting to engulf the horizon. As we take a look outside of West Topeka, though, you can see that there's still a good mix of sun and clouds, but you can start to see the rain on the horizon as well. Currently, though, we're still rather warm, sitting at 88 degrees right now with the wind out of the west at 5 miles per hour. We did top out at a high of 90 degrees, which is still just a couple degrees above average, but we're going to see some relief from the heat as well. Temperatures right now, though, ranging quite a bit. We have 90s down south, such as 90 in Burlington, but look at that. Junction City is only at 80 and 83 in Clay Center, so you can see where those showers have started to fall earlier today, making those temperatures drop just slightly as well. But we'll track the temperatures for you hour by hour as we're working into the night tonight. It's we're going to drop down into the upper 60s to low 70s for many of us across the area. But as you're waking up early, right around 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, we'll be greeted mostly by mid 70s to upper 70s to those out west. And we're going to heat up back into the 90s by 6 p.m. tomorrow. We're calling for low 90s across northeast Kansas. Now, as we work into Tuesday night and you're waking up, you'll see the temperatures won't be quite as high as Monday morning, and that will be the trend through Tuesday as well. It'll be cooler. We're only expecting highs in the mid to upper 80s for most of us, which is right around average for us for this time of year. Now, the other thing we are tracking are some showers that have started to pop up over the course of the past few hours. We did see some try to work their way across I-70 earlier, but they've really fizzled out as they've tried to do so. Just some light showers in the vicinity right now. But the main thing we're tracking are these line of showers that are kind of back building from Missouri back into Kansas, edging into Douglas and Franklin counties. But I do suspect they're not going to make it much further back west. We are tracking the possibility for some more showers, but tonight will dry out pretty nicely. Mostly clear skies around 2.30 this morning as you're waking up tomorrow morning right around 7 a.m. Maybe some clouds mixed in there, but we'll be mostly dry. We can't rule out the chance for some scattered showers to develop in the afternoon right around 2 o'clock tomorrow, as well as another line of showers trying to edge their way in later on Monday as well. Now your KSNT seven day forecast we can't rule out the chance of rain for a while. Tuesday looks to be the driest of the days. Now, we are tracking the possibility for some stormy weather for Wednesday and Thursday, even maybe spilling over into Friday. But at least on the plus side, temperatures start to back off and we'll be back into the 80s. You know, Christina, I feel like I'm on a roller coaster.